and when it stops, somebody wins on Puzzle Roulette. And here's the star of Puzzle Roulette, Jim Lang. Thank you. Thank you very much and welcome to Puzzle Roulette, where with just one spin of our roulette wheel, a player can win as much as $25,000. And now, please help me welcome the lady who sets our wheels of spinning. Say hello to my co-hostess, Shari Paulson. Wow, you look beautiful. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel like somebody's going to win a lot of money. I hope somebody wins a lot of money so today. Too. They certainly can. Now, let me explain to the folks how we play our game. Our champion will be the first player to earn $1,000 by correctly solving puzzles just like this. Take a look. We have a floor. Windows and a wall, mirror, mirror. The answer is mirror, mirror on the wall. You got that? Okay, we're gonna do another one. Shara, you wanna try one? Okay. All right. See, there's our little friend. He's dropping the word name. That's name dropping. Exactly, name dropping. When a little man does something, that's an action. Name dropping. All right, audience, you wanna play one? Yeah. All right, this is for our audience. Take a look. There's advice. Chunk is out and there. You're very good. Piece of advice. Wonderful. However, to earn a chance at solving a puzzle, our players must combine skill with a little luck and correctly predict the outcome of each spin of the roulette wheel. I guess it's time to meet our players, right? Right. Want to do it? Sure. Okay, let's go. Okay. Our returning champ is a professional bodybuilder from Chicago. So far on Puzzle Roulette, she's won over $7,500 in cash and prizes. Welcome back, Antonia Lau. Hi, Antonia. You had a very lucky day yesterday. You certainly did. What's your lucky number for today? Today it's going to be 17. All right, Antonia says number 17. And our next player, Shari? Our next contestant hails from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where he works as a basketball umpire and a baseball umpire. You may have seen him singing the national anthem for the L.A. Lakers and the Boston Celtics. Meet Jeff Sable. Hey, hey Jim. I hope so. What's your lucky number? Lucky number seven. Jeff has number seven. Yeah. Our next contestant, Shari. Our third contestant is a housewife from Corona, California, who dabbles in the sport of hang gliding. Meet Babs Lindsay. Oh, Liz Davis hang gliding. All right, what's your lucky number, Babs? Uh, it's got to be 13. Oh, you are a risky person. Next player, please. Our final contestant is originally from New Jersey. He's a personal manager and loves classical music. Say hello to Todd Nielsen. Hi, Todd. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Do you have a number that's your, what's your lucky number? I'm going to say 22. Todd says 22. All right, the numbers are all on the board. Remember now, if your lucky number comes up, you're going to win a special bonus prize. So be ready for that. We have one bit of unfinished business left. Before the show, we selected a card from Ben off stage. So, Shari, please tell us the name of today's home player. Today, it's Liz Thomas from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Well, congratulations, Liz. You've just won $500 for being selected, and you have a chance to win a lot more during the show, so you stay tuned, right? And everybody else, stay tuned. Let's take a look at our roulette wheel, okay? Like all roulette wheels, it has the numbers 1 through 36. Half of the numbers are red, and the other half are black. In addition, we have zero and double zero, and if they come up during the course of a game, good things will happen for our contestants, but we'll explain that when it happens. Now, in round one, we ask our players to select whether the ball will land on a red number or a black number. And each of the five puzzles in this round will be worth $100. So if everybody is ready, what do you want? Red or black? Put up your cards and... All right, sorry. Twenty-four black. That means Babs, you're the only one who had it right. Oh. Babs is right. Oh. And you'll be playing alone. Babs, I want you to look at the screen now. Hands on the buzzer. Get ready and solve this puzzle for hundred dollars. What is it? Bachelor party. You got it. Bachelor party. Of course. The word bachelor. All the hats and the confetti. Way to go. And you are in the lead with one hundred dollars. And that's the way you make money on Puzzle Roulette. All right, we have uh, another spin coming up. What do you think, red or black, players? Red Simmons coming. Two reds and two blacks. Here we go. Six black. It almost jumped in the red, but it is black. Six black, and that means Antonia and Babs again will be playing. All right, guys, you can take a break, and gals, take a look at the board. What is this puzzle for a hundred dollars? 
Antonia? Scotch on the rock. You're good. Yeah, scotch on the rock. The rocks with scotch on it. Very good. One of my favorite drinks. And you get $100, Antonia, and we have a tie for the lead, but a lot more to play. All right, next spin coming up. Select red or black, please. Red, well, red, it comes in. All red, okay. All red. Red is Yeah. yeah. 23 red. Boy, everyone is right, I'll tell you. That means all four of you are in this particular puzzle, so stand by. This is the first chance for you, Jeff. Let's see how good you can do, okay? On the board, and here we go. Jeff. Fishing for compliments. You're right, and you have $100. Absolutely right. We got a little man and a little woman are fishing for compliments. And you have just picked up $100, and we have a three-way tie. Hey. Come on, Todd. <laughs> Let's see if you can do it this time. We've got another spin coming up. What do you say, red or black, players? I'm going to stick with it. All right, stick two red it. and two black. Seven. 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 All right, this time, the gals can settle down. And Jeff and Todd both said red. It was a red uh, color. And guys, look at the board. And what is this puzzle for $100? <laughs> And Todd? Eskimo pie. You're right. How did, that's great. That's a tough one. The Eskimo is holding the symbol for pie in mathematics. Very good. And now we have a four-way tie. $100 for each player. Somebody's going to take the lead. This is our final puzzle coming up in round one. All right. Next spin. What do you say, gang? Black. black. All black. All right. Everybody says black. Zero. And I told you something good would happen. That's the house number. That means everybody plays. All right. All right. Yes. Everybody's in when zero or double zero comes up. So stand by and solve this puzzle for $100. And it's Jeff again. Easter Parade. You're lucky. You got it. You weren't quite sure. Way to go, Jeff. Sure. They're marching along with all their parade instruments. And you have $200 and you have the lead. Jeff, everybody else has $100. We got a close game here. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. And round two, every puzzle worth $200. Okay? Go away. And now back to Jim Lang and more puzzle roulette. Thank you very much, Dean. Hi, and welcome back, everybody. In this round, each of the five puzzles will now be worth $200, and we're going to ask our players to predict whether the ball will land on an even number or an odd number. Players, would you please make your selections, please? What's it going to be, even or odd? It's even, and that means Antonia and Todd will be playing in this round. Remember now, these are worth $200. They become more important. Solve this puzzle. <laughs> Antonia. Costume jewelry. You're right. Yeah, and you pick up $200 and go to the lead. Antonia, you now have $300. Way to go. And, of course, it was jewelry with costume on it, right? Okay, next selection. Another spin coming up, please. Odd or even? 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 Odd. out of an even into an odd, and that means Jeff and Babs were correct this time. Okay, Todd and Antonia, take a break, and now let's see who gets this puzzle. Here it comes for $200. Jeff? Winner take all. That's right. You got it. Winner take all. The winner is taking all. And you pick up another $200, and now you are in the lead with four. Boy, the lead keeps changing back and forth. Let's see what you say this time, gang. Is it even or odd for the next oh, spin? Probably going to be even. Two odd and two even. Here we go. 29 odd. Bab said odd, and you were right, and that means you get a chance at the puzzle. Jeff and Todd. Take a break. All right, next puzzle, please, for $200. Gals, what is it? <laughs> 
Antonia. Olive pit? Yes, that's right. Oh, wow, that was tough. There's a pit, and I was pointing to the pit, and there was an olive in there. Sure. You recognize the olive, huh? Okay. Well, you pick up another $200, Antonia. All right, players, make your selection if you would, odd or even. One will be another spin coming up, and here we go. It's an odd one. That means Jeff and Todd will play. All right, and Babs and Antonia, take a break. Jeff and Todd, look at the screen and solve this puzzle. Here it comes. Oh. Jeff. Lemon drops. Yes, lemon drops. Absolutely right, lemon drops. Dripping out of the faucet. And Jeff, you picked up another $200. Gives you a total of $600. Now you're in the lead. All right. We have one more. One more spin remaining in our $200 round. Predictions, please. Will it be odd or even? What are you going to do? Even one. There's three even and one out. A big break for Todd. Todd, you're the only one who said odd. So you're playing this one all alone. And if you get it, you got $200 and you're right in this ball game. All right? Eyes on the screen. Solve this puzzle, Todd. Todd? Straw hat. Beautiful. That's right. Straw hat. A hat with the straws all around it. And Todd, you have just won another $200, and we have quite a game here. Jeff in the lead with $600. Antonia with $500. Todd now with $300. Babs, you only have $100. But let me tell you, next round, every puzzle's worth $300, and anything can happen. We'll be back and find out who wins the game right after this. Puzzle Roulette. Now, all of the puzzles in this final round will be worth $300. We'll play until one of our players reaches that $1,000 mark. Now, in this round, we're going to ask our players to predict whether the ball will land on a number between 1 and 18, we call that the top, or whether the ball will land on a number between 19 and 36, and we call that the bottom. So, if we're ready to go, players, are you all set? Yes, sir. Okay, make your selections top or bottom. What will it be? <laughs> 29 bottom is a big bit of news for Antonia because you're the only one who said bottom. Other players, take a break. You play alone, Antonia. You can pick up $300 on this puzzle now. Take a look and solve it if you can. Yes. Is it Iron Curtain? Yes, it is Iron Curtain. Hanging from the little loop there. That's the curtain in front of the window, an Iron Curtain. And that's worth $300 for you, and you edge closer to victory, Antonia. One more puzzle worth $300, and you'd go over $1,000. you would be our winner. Other players, got to go and stop her now. See if you can. All right, selections it. for the next spin. What'll it be? Let's Top of the number seven. Congratulations, Todd. Todd, that is your lucky number, and I told you we had a special prize for you. All right, here's Dean to tell you what it is. Listen. It's a fabulous dream vacation in Hawaii. Get out your bathing suits and pack your bags because we'll fly you and a guest round trip on Continental Airlines to the exotic Garden Island of Kauai for a romantic two-week stay at the beautiful Kauai Resort and Hotel. Play in the sun, surf, scuba, or just bask in the natural beauty of the island. And Shari has a bonus for those little trinkets and extra suntan lotion. We'll give you $500 in cash. Congratulations, Todd. You are going to be in Hawaii, and that's just yours to keep. No matter what happens in the game today, you send us a postcard, right? I sure will. We wish you a fond aloha. All right, it was 22 on the bottom, and that means that you're the only one who said bottom, Todd, so that means you're the only player in this round, okay? You can really close the gap now if you can solve this puzzle. This could be a great spin for you. Here we go. Did he make it? Didn't make it. I'm oh. sorry. Time ran out, Todd. Oh. 
Oh, All right, now audience minute. knows. What is it, audience? Paper Moon. Paper Moon. We had a newspaper cut into a moon, and <laughs> you didn't pick up any money there, but you're sure going to go on a trip to Hawaii anyway, because your lucky number did come up. All right, let's go on to our next $300 spin-in puzzle. Are you ready for your selection play? Here we go. All right. The bottoms win. Antonia and Babs both said bottom, and that means the gals will be playing. And this is so important because, Antonia, if you solve this puzzle first, <laughs> you will win the game and have a chance at $25,000. All right, here is that important puzzle. Solve it. <laughs> Babs? Spanish Harlem. You're right, and you stopped the chance for winning again, and you go to Harlem with all the Spanish mariachis and everything, and you pick up $300, and now you have four, and everybody has a shot at it now. Okay, are you ready for your predictions? Let's go. It's top or bottom? One of the, here we go. All of us at top. Everybody says top. Everybody's right. Very good. Antonia, Jeff, Babs, and Todd, you're all in this. And again, Antonia, <coughs> if you can get it, you are our champion again. Other players, stand by. Here we go with our next $300 puzzle. <laughs> Babs? Anything goes. Anything goes. Waving bye-bye. Anything is going to go. And you have another $300. What a comeback. Now, Bab, you're in the same position Antonia is in. If you get the next puzzle, you could win it. Either one of the gals, the guy's got to do some work here. All right, are you ready with our next selection? What'll it be? Okay. Top or bottom? Bottom. Two tops or two bottoms. Here we go. And it's bottom. That means Antonia and Jeff will be playing. All right. Antonia and Jeff. Jeff, you have to stop or else she could win the game right here. Here we go. This very important $300 puzzle, solve it. Oh. Antonia, for the win. Ivy League? You're right. Yeah. Ivy League. You get it. You just won $300, and that makes you our champion, a continuing champion. A total of $1,100 you won, Antonia. In just a moment, you're going to have a chance to make $25,000. And the other players, you were just great. Todd, you won $300, $2,100 for the trip to Hawaii. A total cash and prize is $2,400. And Jeff, $600. And happy with that. Oh, you're a great player. You really are. And Babs, $700 for you. Thank you all for playing Puzzle Roulette. Thank you very much. Antonia, come on over here. We're going to play that big bonus round for $25,000. Can she do it? We'll find out. Right after this. And now back to more Puzzle Roulette and Jim Lang. Welcome back to Puzzle Roulette. And Antonia, first of all, congratulations. And now here's your chance to win $25,000. We're gonna show you, uh, We're gonna show you 10 puzzles in 60 seconds. If you can solve all 10 before time runs out, you will win $10,000. And you'll be on your way to that $25,000, all right? This could be it. I want you to call out as many answers as you want. Now, but if you get stuck, you say pass, and we'll come back to the puzzle if time permits. Good luck. Time will start when you see your first puzzle. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, get set, go. Uh, once go lightly, pass, pass. Desert Fox, Desert Fox. One. Work, 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 work. Dirty work. Two. Uh, buckle, buckle, buckle up. Three. Um, gold, gold, gold. Goldy, Goldy Locks. Four. Pod, pod, pod. Cape Cod! Five! Uh, um, uh, Aha! Uh -huh. Path! <laughs> um, um, yeah, running errands! Six! Uh, picture, picture frame, frame. Healthy picture! Picture of health! Seven! Make it city! Eight! We're going back! Uh, once lightly down! Uh, on, 
Lightly on. Lightly once. Um, on lightly. Once on lightly. Lightly. Once on lightly. Lightly on once. Once lightly. Pass. Man, man fantastic. Oh, fantastic. time ran out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Audience, what is this one here? What is that man doing? He's poking a hauntus. Pocahontas, sure. And the other one you didn't get is once over like audience note. Yeah, you got all around it, but you didn't quite get it. Well, listen, you got eight correct, and that's worth eight hundred dollars. We give you a hundred dollars for every correct puzzle for a total of eight hundred. But come on over here, and we're going to give you a chance to turn that eight hundred dollars into eight thousand dollars. Terry has eight chips, one chip for every one you got correct there in our bonus round. And we want you to place those on the numbers from 0 to 36, anywhere you want. Then we'll give the roulette wheel one final spin. And if your number comes up, we'll change 800 to 8,000, all right? Okay. Pick your number. What do you want to do? 17, okay. 23, 33, 12, 11, 22, 12, 21. All right, you got them all covered. Yes. Okay. Now, here's the ball. Sherry, if you'd give the wheel one final spin, please. And you can throw the ball. And this is it. We want one of your lucky numbers to make 800 into 8,000. Okay, here goes. Go ahead. Come on. Antonia, come on, come on. It's 22. You got it! Your total, you came into the game yesterday, 7,500. You won $1,100 in the game today. Another 8,000 gives you a total of $16,600. And not only that, but you're gonna come back tomorrow. I hope you can make it and meet three new players and see if you can go for 25,000 again, okay? Thank you so much, Antonio. Thanks to all of you for watching. I'm Jim Lang. I'm Corey Paulson, and we'll see you tomorrow on Puzzle Roulette! Bye-bye! If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.